Hello to you watching this video. Thank you for watching. I am your host, Brent Justice. Welcome to my gaming channel, Justice Gaming. I am in Horizon Zero Dawn on this very, very beautiful day as the sky radiates the light through the clouds. Just a really, really, really awesome view as I logged into the game today. So that is beautiful. And it's a great day to play another Horizon Zero Dawn. So I am going to, I think we'll be going to All Mother in today's video, which means learning the secrets under All Mother Mountain. We now have that master code in order to get in, so that's interesting. And in the last video, it was an extremely huge lore drop mission. Main quest, main story, we basically learned the entire reason for Project Zero Dawn. We learned what Project Zero Dawn is, how they basically saw the inevitable coming, and instead of trying to fight it, just said, okay, it's going to happen, so let's devise a way that humans can survive after the Earth is destroyed, basically. And that is to terraform the planet revitalize it with life and uh, vegetation and then seed humans into that life. So that was a really cool idea. Pretty epic. I mean, that's an epic scale, right? An epic scale. Well, they definitely managed to do that because here we are a thousand years later and humans exist. So it worked. However, there's a few things that went off track. Apollo didn't work for some reason. We weren't trained. We weren't educated. It's primitive man. And we have Hades, whose program was meant to allow Gaia to restart the terraforming process, has somehow gone awry. And Hades wants to destroy everything and everyone, and especially me, known as the entity it calls us. So we need to learn those secrets and figure all that out still. So there's a lot to learn, even though we've learned a lot. Let's quickly look at our quest. The heart of the Nora. The answers Aloy has sought all her life are finally within her grasp. If she can defeat the Eclipse invasion of the Embrace and fight her way inside the tribe's sacred mountain, the Sacred Mountain of the Nord Tribe holds the secrets of your birth. I have no other side quest to do right now, so this is the next thing to do. And the main quest. I do have five skill points. Let's just keep adding to our arsenal here. We'll just add another one. That allows us to do uh, a, a more damage increase to our strike attacks. Silent Strike, Strike from Above. I have not been doing those, but hey, if I want to... Now I can do more damage with them, so that's good. We'll do sprinting as quiet on the next one. I'm level 46. So, so that's cool. It looks like I'm going all the way back, yeah, to All Mother is the trail. Now, here's the question. Do I walk that path? Do I override a machine and walk that path all the way back, which is met with peril. Or do I just fast travel? Because look, I have the fast travel. I, I got this golden fast travel pack so I can do things like this. Now there are lots of places I still haven't been to. As you can see, there's campfires and areas I've never been to yet. So like, I could go to some of these places that I haven't been to just if I wanted to randomly travel and you know see if there's any new errands or side quests to pick up but to be honest with you at this point I think I just want to get on with the main quest a little bit more because I'm really having fun with that and maybe like after a big mission or a big quest I can try to go to some areas I haven't been to just to get the campfires and see if there's any anything there, you know. Sometimes there's these little villages around that have errands or side quests, but it looks like, honestly, I've been to almost everything. 
So there might not be a lot of extra stuff left right now. Okay, well, let's go ahead, fast travel to Mother's Watch. Oh. It's not allowed for this location right now. Okay, I can fast travel there, but I can... I can't fast travel as close as I wanted to get. So we'll fast travel to right about here. And so what this indicates to me, I have a feeling we're going to be encountering eclipse along the way. We'll go here. But it seems to me like the game wants us to fight eclipse people along the way, probably. Because they are invading the Nora lands, and so I have to stop them. Now, before I started recording, I did gear up. I got all the potions I need. I got uh, all the ammo and everything I need. So I should be good to go. We can do some combat. I did want to look into increasing my pouches though. Uh, I have not done a lot of pouch increasing lately, carry capacity, and I would love to have more quivers in my in my thing for my arrows, for some of my arrows. So like, I need boar skin and rabbit bone. So boar and rabbit. Turkey and fox. I don't need that one so much. So, rabbit, boar, turkeys. I need to look for those, to be honest with you. I may look for some of that along the way. Speaking of the thing right there. Well, don't I have a hunter bow somewhere? Yeah, hunter arrow. There's a rabbit skin right there. Heck yeah. So for... Well, there you go. Sharp shot bow quiver. I can already increase it. Let's go. Hey, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, I need uh, more. I need uh, boar and rabbit again. So I'll be on the lookout for that. But now, check that out. I'm up to 30 on that. Sweet. Okay. Good. We started this video off on a good note. So, how's everybody doing today? I have a hot coffee in front of me. It is a beautiful... I put extra flavoring in it, and it is delicious. Let me know what you're drinking down below. It's very foggy and rainy today, apparently, in Horizon Zero Dawn. Do I need you? You're a watcher. You're a watcher. That smell. Trees on fire. The embrace. Yep, the Eclipse are attacking. The Sentinels had time to warn the tribe. So we're going back to where it all started. Yep, it's on fire. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody right here. Seeker. You've returned. Where is everyone? They fell back. Took shelter inside. 
the sacred mountain but the faithless and their demons pursued can i help you no seeker i am broken it won't be long now that is unfortunate it also sounds like I'm going to be having to fight my way through the sacred mountain. She wasn't one to give up ground. Well, she didn't sell her life cheaply. In the end, I guess that's all any of us can hope for. Wow, I mean, just dead bodies on the way. Just dead bodies. How ominous is that? Corruptor and its weakness is fire. You're going down. I'm at trying to aim for the things on its head. Okay. While it's phase, I'm gonna knock that thing off. There we go, I knocked that off. Nope, let's just jump out of the way. Look at all the arrows. Look at all the arrows sticking out of it. That's funny. Whoa, a watcher. Oh, they're all corrupted too. Anora, they stand here. Anything to protect the embrace. But the gates couldn't hold. This is Hades' future. Metal. All right. So what I have learned is, uh, it's getting harder. <laughs> Things are getting harder. Let me ammo up on everything. Um, so, okay. So, there's going to be a lot of corruptors probably along the way. Now, they give the corruption to the watchers and so forth. So, that's going to make the uh, other machines a little tougher. So, I have to watch out for corruptors. I've got to watch out for corrupted machines. And I'm going to be fighting them along the way. And it's going to be tough. As you recall, several videos back, I did increase the difficulty level, so I am no longer in the story level mode. I am in easy mode, which is notably, notably harder. Takes more arrows to bring everything down. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm doing less damage, or they have a higher health, something like that. So, definitely feeling that difference in uh, difficulty level. And I'm definitely going to have to keep getting more health things along the way, flowers and so forth, to heal myself with. And it looks like I'm go I may have to, if I get into a big battle, I'll use a health booster. Uh, there we go, I got it on health booster now, and I'll activate that. And then I also have a corruption antidote, so I will uh, have to hit one of those corruption things if there's a lot of corrupted. Oh gosh. I'm hearing huge machines.
You've got to be kidding me. Do I have to fight that? Okay, guys, I don't know if I can fight all of those machines at once. That's a little much. I'm going to have to, aren't I? Uh, okay, well, its weakness is shock and fire, which I have, thank goodness. Could I sneak around, do you think, though? Do I need to actively fight this thing, or can I sneak around it? I mean, I could probably sneak around it, uh, but you got the corruptors up there, too. Here's the problem. If I if I start battling this creature, this machine, the others are going to come at me. And then I'm going to be fighting several machines at once, and that's what I don't want to do. I may have to fight this deathbringer though. I think I'm going to. It's against my better judgment, but if I can get it out of the way, it would be nice. I could just wait for it to pass. You know what? Maybe I won't destroy it, but maybe I should. I don't know. I definitely want to take out these cultists, though. Ah, shoot. Okay, the Deathbringer is alerted. This is what I was afraid of. I have nowhere to hide. Race to the crowd. Okay, it's begun. It it hath begun. What I feared is beginning. Not knock that thing off. That's what I was afraid of. Other 
other things coming to fight me, which I don't want to do while I'm in the middle of a Deathbringer fight. And the Corruptors. There's the Corruptor. Good. Great. I'm dead. I'm dead. Running away. Oh, I don't want to do corruption. Stupid arrow, wrong arrow. Now I think I can take the Deathbringer. Probably not, but at least I got the cor See, it's when all the other machines come fighting you, it's just like, how do you do all of it, right? You can't. Okay, he's kind of far away. Now they're hunting me. really want to knock those off. really doing a ton there. Oh, he's stuck. Good. I'm not doing much damage from this far away. I'm going to have to get closer. As much as I don't want to. Not doing a lot of damage here. his side weapons. How do I get his two main weapons? His weakness is also fire. I'm really not doing a lot of damage at all here. Like 
got his little middle thing. I think when he opens, when he opens his little turrets, I think I can shoot inside and that does something. Okay, there's the... Ah, I got the leg thing, got it. Yeah, it's got... He's got little things that open up on the sides and stuff. I, I so I can get at those when I can get at those when he opens them up. If I can get his legs, it's not showing me the hit points right here. But if I can get his legs, there we go. Yeah, he's got his little stuff that opens up there. So when he opens up, I can shoot. Uh, I can shoot those uh, things. That was not easy. That was a tough one right there. Um, oh, I cannot craft any more of those. Ooh. What do I need for the tear blast arrows? Uh, I need the spark sparker thing. Yeah, that was a tough one right there, that Deathbringer, um, oof. But I did see that it kept opening up and those pods, those, uh, pod things were sticking out, so... I am able to kill it. When those come out, I can shoot them. So, I saw how to do that, and then I also saw shooting its legs kind of forces it down also. It had hit points on the legs and then that stuff there, and I was using the uh, Tear Blast arrow to basically destroy the side-mounted guns that it had to blow those off, and it did do that, so that worked. It's just a matter of hitting the right hit points on it and wearing it down, so I get that. It's just uh, hard to do when you're being shot at. <laughs> you know. Yeah, this place has uh, definitely had a lot going on here. The Eclipse have stormed through and they have Deathbringers. I mean, my goodness. I'm just not going to fight. I'm done. That Deathbringer really uh, took a lot. Mm, still need more of those. I do need healing stuff though. Never know when I might need these. Definitely going to need more health. Another battle. Another defeat. The eclipse smashed through. I'm just trying to pick up all the health because I know I'm going to need it. 
probably gonna have to fight a big battle to get inside all mother probably on a monkey stick. Oh my gosh, everyone. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. I run. I run away. That's what I do. track everybody okay I know not to go running into that I'm trying to get everybody tracked I'm just a little far away but I want to get everything and everyone tracked so I can see them coming and we're just gonna go take them over Okay, I know to be a little careful here. Uh, what I was trying to do is I wanted to go um, make a save game, but nope, I guess I need to take all of these out first. Let's see, let's take the machines first or cultists first? Which one should I take out? Cultist it is. I'm gonna try to do this a little quiet because I just don't want everyone pouncing on me at once, you know? I don't, I don't want everyone just like attacking me at one time. That's a little too much. Dang, I missed him. Dang, I missed him again. Dang, I missed him a third time. Just like that, I don't want the machines. I don't want the machines to attack me just yet. I will get to the machines. Trust me. I will get to the machines. Just not first. Gonna have to be a little cunning here. I'm gonna let him die down. Be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. And I'm going to continue taking out the cultists and get them out of the way, and then I can work on the machines. Okay, he will stop looking, and he will go away. Am I not tracking him? Okay, he's out of the way. Now we can work on the others. I'm not tracking these guys. Wow, if I could stop missing, that would be good. Shoot. Yeah, if I could, like, stop missing these guys, that would just be awesome. Maybe I could just lure this one Corruptor out and, like, destroy it way out here and not have everybody on me.
That may actually work because now I have one less corruptor to deal with. Yeah, I think that worked actually. Lure him out. Maybe I can lure the other one out too. Let's get a health. Fire is the right thing, right? Yeah. That was a good shot. Okay, who do we have left? Okay, that helps. Now we just have this corruptor. I'm gonna hit him with some fires, some, uh... Other stuff here. Oh yeah, I can't craft more of those. I need more resources. For the first time, I'm like running out of resources. Let's make a save. I figured this was going to be the idea I had to fight my way through. Got too much already. Fine. And I know that I do have the anti-corruption poison. I really haven't felt like I've needed it yet. I guess I did back there. There was a time probably I should have had it, but... It is, it does run out, so I'll use it when I come across a whole lot of machines. But yeah, I'm getting all the resources because that's one thing I kind of need right now. I also am hearing a lot of noise. Sounds like another Deathbringer to me. That's just a scrapper. That's a terrible noise though, a terrible sound, is it not? That is the worst noise. going through a lot of arrows, so I gotta make sure I have enough things to craft more arrows.
There's a scrapper there. It's corrupted, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Huh? I got him in the knee. I got him in the leg. I still hear that noise. I hope it's not another Deathbringer, but with my luck, it's going to be another Deathbringer. a thunder jaw and there's a lot of people up here what is the thunder jaw its weakness is fire also freeze right there freeze and weakness is fire on the tail so I can shoot its beak thing I can do freeze in the middle, or I can do fire on the back side. It's got different sections of it that are weak to, vulnerable to certain things. More cliffs. It's a corrupted thunder jaw, all right? The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. I'll never reach the hatch. Let's see. I'm gonna. F right, let's do. We're gonna do a health. It's my last one. You dug your own grave, Zora. You'll be buried in there. Oh, it's a cutscene. I was gonna go fight it, but it's a cutscene. To Aloy's side now. For Aloy. For the For our mother. Well, good. I'll let them Zoro. take care of the cultists, and, and I'll take care alive. of the Thunderjaw. Okay. <laughs> New strategy. New strategy. Holy crap. Oh, it put me right in front of it. I'll hit next. Let's see if I can knock that stuff Corruption off. Corruption will not take hold. Well, I'm out of those. Destroy it. Tried to hit it in the foot. Strike it down. Oh, 
Oh, it has drones. Steel, that would be great. Nice. Destroy it. Strike it down. Actually, it can't get me here, huh? Actually, I think it can get me here. Back to the tainted earth, demon. The corruption will not take hold. There we go. That's the way to do it. Finish them. Cover what you care for. We did it. We only helped. I thought we would die. Ah, oh, that was uh rather tough. So let's talk about that. Um, yeah, that was a tough one there. I guess I should have used anti-corruption too, but oh well. I ran out of a lot of stuff. All right. Got all that in order. Yeah, so basically, uh, let's loot everything. The idea that I was going for, which I did succeed in, was to get one, knock one of the, uh, I can't spare the weight. one of his weapons off, because I know that when you knock those weapons off, you can get its, um, look at all the good stuff here. You can get its weapon and, and use it to fight. You can use it to fire back on it. So that's what I did, and that worked. I mean, that uh, firing and using its own weapon is the way to go to bring that down. You definitely want to do that. So I probably could have done it on arrows alone, but it would have taken those precision hits, hitting the right components on it, or using the right element in the right place on it. I mean, it could, it could be done, but just picking up their main weapon and shooting it, definitely, definitely easier that way. Um, that was a hard one, though, and uh, again, I'm not on a an extremely hard difficulty level, so I can imagine if people had higher difficulty levels, that's going to be really tough, and uh, I don't envy you and what you have to go through, um, but it's not what I want to do. I, again, I don't want my games to be frustrating. I don't want to be frustrated at the game. I just want to have fun, I'd have so to I... I'm going to leave it on the easy difficulty. Again, still above story mode, but um, a little a little tougher, and I can feel it. And uh, that's, as, that's as hard as I want to go. That's as hard as I want to go. No more, please. Aloy. Okay, now I think I got everything. We can talk to everyone. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. Until you if you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. It was brave of you. And I am level 47. I leveled up. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving. So much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. 
survivors. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families got SP praised. But Braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja and all their red raids never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace, to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived, fell back to the mountain. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Your injuries? Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You Answers. Answers. Talk to Tirsa. Oh, we can talk to other people too. How did it come to this? How will we survive? My sons. Oh, it's her. I hope you killed the faithless outside seeker. I hope you killed them all. It feels as though our mother has forgotten this seeker. Well, it's just a uh, empty it's just a mountain. Uh, doesn't have a will. It was brave of you to come back here, Seeker, after everything. I hope you killed the faithless outside, Seeker. I hope you killed them all. Aloy! Oh, you've returned! Teb? You. Oh, Resh. Hello, Resh. Still guarding the latrine? Okay, well, he won't talk to me. It's brave of you to come back here, Seeker. After everything. Heard Tab. I knew you would survive. Yeah. The machines of the faith we slaughtered our people. I'm glad to see you. Your injuries. Are they serious? A gash or two. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I suppose it did. You should speak to the matriarchs. They're waiting. In a moment. I meant to ask you some things. Of course. Oh, we can ask everything here. Oh, this is everything I just asked up front. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo. Ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. I think I just heard all this. Lanzra. Well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. I'll go yeah, I did ask all this. I should speak to the High Matriarchs. Yes, they're waiting for you. We'll talk later. 
Yeah, I'm going to get to her. Let me just get through and make sure there's nobody else to Aloy. talk to. You've come back. To see you again. The Seeker has returned. Come, speak to us. Foolish woman, How did she know? you welcome How a curse. Did she hear? Come, Seeker, we have much to discuss. Okay, so, all right. You have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Um, okay, so this is one of those inflection points. We haven't had a lot of these till now, so... You're not stopping me, fist. Let's let go of your fear, heart. Ignore them and enter the hatch. Let's do heart, because that's the way I've been going for all of these decisions. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. <sighs> Finally. Hold for identiscan. We're finally going to get through. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Guess Correction. what I have. Alpha registry. Alpha received. registry. Let's go. Identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sova. You are clear to proceed. And I am the chosen one. I shall enter. Pretty uh, epic walk in. And now it's time for answers. So this is Cradle Nine. I'm going to, uh, I was going to stop the video here, but there doesn't seem to be a save place. So I'm going to continue. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this will probably end up being another long video today, uh, maybe a two-hour video, because I want to go through all this now. It's gonna, I was going to stop here, but yeah, there's no way to make a saved game and stop the game right now. So I'm going to continue and push on. So this will just be a long video today, a long lore drop video. Hey, look, we got something here. So this is Eleuthia. Eleuthia. This is where I was born. Yeah, and that's the Apollo this stuff. Where I was made. And look at the writings on the walls. Kids drawing robots and crying and something. Somebody going crazy. I'm gonna uh, walk in here. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me. So I am going to read all the text and listen to all the dialogues. So this was it. Where you were born. Chamber B1001. Okay. Oh, well, she was talking, but let's read. Uh, da, 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 complete thing by Sp 
Spawning phase, tasking complete correction, partial reactivation, standing by, alert. Viable zygotes in storage, zero. There's a lot of chambers here, too. I think that's the one I just read, yep. And there's all the computers down there that were supposed to teach us children how to stuff, how to stuff. Okay, let's, I see that there. Let's hit this up. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim. I don't want to sleep, mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. Well, they're going crazy down here, and apparently they had robot servitors, so. Makes sense. These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi-servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. Right on, all right. Let's get this one. Nurture phase, task complete, nutrient stores depleted. They were probably were running out of resources at some point. It's been a thousand years. Oh, and a playroom. It's all very intact too. Very colorful. Okay, another one. Someday, that's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Uh -oh. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children. May I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! They're really getting frustrated, but they did not have access down here. They did not have access into this big room. Could you... I mean, could you... Could you imagine how... You know, cramped you must feel. Isolated and... Claustrophobic, that's the word I was looking for. How claustrophobic you would feel just being a, just able your entire life to walk through these hallways and these rooms in here, but nowhere else. Not down into the big room down there. Oh man, that would be terrible. Interesting imagery. That's pretty much all the knowledge they had. So this is where they left. It's a mess. Everything's broken or, or painted on. How long did they live here? All their lives. They had nothing else. 
Alert, multiple system failures, nutrient systems depleted. Children, let's run a jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. Uh, run and jump and blow off steam. Well, that must have made them incredibly annoyed. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. Ah. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. And take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here. And sleep. And remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave. And you will learn. They were trapped here. Their whole lives. Their whole lives. Had to let be let go. Luxurious space. What what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. And uh no I noticed the word braves there, so that was the last thing the servitor said to them was braves, so maybe that explains why the Nora people are called the bra bra are called Braves. Or they have that title. Just my theory. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. Yeah, they couldn't get through it. Of course they hated it. Can I get it? Look for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to Lyceum, a place of learning. Lyceum. When we get access to it, this is the place they couldn't get to. All because of that door. They couldn't open that door. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. Why not? That's a good question. Why not? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. I don't see them, though. What if I had two focuses? Would that be neat? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. Huh. Okay, silence. I will. Uh, I would like to take that focus, actually. I would like to have two focuses, please. Dual wield focuses. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. 
confirmed. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Let me guess, there's a malfunction and Apollo is offline. It's just a wild guess. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much pr Hello, child. Okay, they're all the same. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Learned. Malfunction. Apollo offline. That sounds important. Yes, it does. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. I'm ready. Oh, okay, here we go. A timeline, and these are the years 2326. Inhabitants released in 2326, so it took like, I guess, 300 years before Gaia got the environment right. Cross check complete, sealed, data archived, operation suspended, or something. G prime order received in 3020. Let's well, so there's a lot of time. I don't know, maybe not, maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure what all that is actually. 3020 though, a G prime order received, runtime recommended, G prime store, query processed, order received, E9 initializing. G well, no, I guess it would have had to be in order to build up the civilization that Earth has right now to that level. It would have had to have been hundreds of years that those children came out. Would have had to be like in the 2300s. Gestation order received offline. Nutrients depleted. Zygote banks depleted. Store file viable. Waking multi-servitor, multi-servitor power malfunction. Repair, tasking. Chamber repaired, attached. Gestation initiated, power save initiated. Runtime recommended, G-Prime still offline. Walking multi-servitor, multi-servitor power malfunction. Repair, transport tasking, hatch unsealed. Positioning successful, hatch sealed. Sealed, operation suspended. Hmm, hmm. Well, we are going to watch this hollow here in just a second. I guess that's all that's left. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what secrets we can learn. Guy Gaia's dying plea. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? 
You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them in place. It, they are escaping, but to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if? Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Well, that explains a lot. A whole lot. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. I mean, that's one way to, to look at it. The flames and but there's the other world. ways. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Now, we definitely learned a whole lot here. I mean, a whole lot. So let's, uh, we'll talk about that, but basically what I'm curious is what was this unknown signal? So it, she said that, you know, Gaia did her thing within like three milliseconds or something, uh, a, uh, unknown signal from an unknown origin was sent that basically disrupted all of her subordinate functions into their own entities, their own AIs, and they were able to like function on their own so something set that off but who what when where why how okay so there's that mystery and then basically hades kind of fought back he because because now he is kind of unshackled and and, and aware uh, as an ai he decided hey i'm gonna carry out my function which is to destroy everything so he broke the shackles of the other subroutine so they could go off and do their own random thing and then he basically wanted to take over and corrupted the, the registries and the files and everything. See, we were meant to get into this uh, mountain a lot sooner, but he corrupted the registry files so we couldn't. So it took us this long to figure all this out. But we were meant to come here sooner and get a focus and learn all this. But now, yeah, and also the, a big thing we've learned, we are basically, um, we are Elizabeth Sobek her genetic material right we are a clone we're a clone of Jeanette of, of Elizabeth Sobek now there is one thing that before I leave this place I want to be sure of if I'm not mistaken there is a power cell somewhere in this place that I need to grab I could be wrong but I definitely if there is a power cell I want it
so I'm just going to kind of double back and make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, I don't know that there's a power cell here, but it's my guess. It is my guess that there is one here. Where's that original door I came in at? I'm just gonna backtrack these rooms. I just wanna make sure I don't miss anything. I do want that power cell if there's one here. This seems like a place to get one. So I'm looking for anything, anything that my focus can detect. seeing anything though what was that that's the door that's fuck you must be outside I don't see anything. I'm gonna go out the way it wants me to go out though the other way. There was another door there. I just want to be sure because I definitely want that power armor. And there's nothing hidden in here, huh? These doors don't open because there's other rooms in there. I wonder what's in those other rooms. Okay, there's nothing on the desk I need to get. Well, this is the only scan function rectified. The Luffy Nine. Group one access unsealed. Thank you. Well, I didn't see any power cells, so if there's a power cell, I don't know. I need to go up or down. I think if I drop, I'll die. Let's see if I can run across to that. Should I try to drop down here? I don't know if I should. But I kind of want to. I can't use my focus. Nope, there's nothing down here. That's great. Like, going to be interesting. Oh, I I see where I am. I think I see where I am. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just back out here. Well, I didn't I didn't I didn't get a power core. I don't know if there's one in this place or not. I mean, I just don't. But 
Um, I don't know if the power cells show up in here. Like, how many of these do I have? I don't even know. I just want to quickly go to my ancient armory. I have one of three power cells, so there are two more. I just don't know where they are. Should I leave this place? You know what I'm gonna do? I did this in one video, so I don't apologize for this at all. Um, I'm just gonna see what missions the power cells are in. I just don't want to miss it. I really want that powered armor. Says there's it says there's a power cell in All Mother Temple. Is that not where I am now? No. Uh, sorry guys, I'm just reading this here. Ah, uh, so there is one here. Not in here, but close to here. It's, I think it's outside. It said something about breaking through a wall, so I think I do need to exit, and then I'm able to find some one in the temple area. Okay. It's me, the chosen one. Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. Yeah. All, All praise Aloy, anointed, anointed of the Nora. Nora. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed of the Nora. Nora. Up. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed of the Nora. Well, they went straight to worshipping me, so... First you shun me, now this? That's what I was going to say. First you shun me, now you're worshipping me. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight... And you're willing. Go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way make for Aloy, Aloy! That she may forge the path for others to follow. Hey, I broke the siege of All Mother. Completed main quest. That should give us some skill points. How much we're we gonna get? Let's see. Got a skill point. Got some XP. Let's see how much XP. Oh, not as much XP as I thought. Okay, so um, well, I guess I can't go back in. Well, I guess I can go back in. 
I don't need to go back in. Alright, so what I was reading is that there is a power cell somewhere in this temple, I think, but there's like a, a door or a... Either a door or a, a duct I need to crawl through, a crawl space. I don't know where. I didn't read where it is, I just read that there is something I need to go through that I'm able to do now since I have the master code or something so I'm going to look for it give me just a minute here I want to uh Aloy, how did you do that Our mother has sent she's to us. She's the they say she came from the mountain. use our bunker doors huh they're open somewhere in this place the tribe I served is gone. Soon I will be too. The Nora have lost too many, Resh. But in your case, I guess they can lose one more. <sighs> Aloy, did you go inside the mountain? It's possible. You saw what happened. <laughs> Actually, can't see so well down here on the ground. All right, I'm going to I'm going to search this place. Yeah, there's passageways through here. Oop. That's going off. I'll uh go this way and see what's this way. Like this door, is this a thing? Well, it's I guess I don't have access to this door. Ooh, but there's a passageway. Is this the passageway? Yes, it leads into a room. Is this the power cell? It is. Another power cell. Good. I only need one more to get to that ancient armor I found. So I am so glad that I read that it was here because I, did, I, I, I didn't want to leave it. I couldn't leave it behind. I didn't know if it was inside the cradle facility or inside the temple. And it was inside the temple. So yeah, I'm glad I looked that up actually. I did not want to miss it. Absolutely didn't want to miss that. I am completely lost right now. How do I get out of here? And we're out. Wow, that was a thing, wasn't it? That was a big quest here. Very involved. Let me try to find a uh, campfire to rest at. There's one down here. get to this campfire we'll save the game and talk about all of this not quite sure what I'm gonna do in the next video let's see the there are no side quests right now to do and it's still just the main quest, the mountain that fell.
But this will be a good stopping place for today. We'll stop right here. I need to stock up on things and get ready for the next big battle. But I think what I'll do is in the next video before I start Rain's recording, done. I will Animals will pick up the noise. I will um I will look over the map and just see if there's any areas I want to go to before I do the next quest. Like are there are there any areas I want to visit or any uh yeah, anything that I want to do or villages or whatever before I do the next quest. I don't know how many quests are left in this game. I don't know where I'm at story-wise, honestly. I don't know how much farther, but it sounds like I'm going to where Gaia is. And that seems like a big part of the story to me, so that's probably going to be a very big quest. So I'll probably just end up doing that next. But that's kind of all I have, because I've done all the side quests and and errands that I know are there, but I'll look for some more, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I guess I've done as much as I can do, and that's kind of the next step, right? So we'll see where that goes, and where is it? Where is the bitter climb? If I activate this quest, where is that? So that's way up here. There's a vantage point up there. Well, that's way up here, so that's probably where I'll be going next, I suppose. I could get a couple of metal flowers and stuff. There's that metal flower that I never got. I never have gotten any of the Banuk figures either, so... Uh, there's stuff like that that I could do, but... I don't know if I want to bore you all with, with that random stuff. Anyway... Let's talk about this a little bit. We learned about the cradle. We learned that the kids were raised here. We learned that they, the servitors took care of them, but at some point they ran out of their nutrients. They had to be let out. Now at that time, when that happened, they would have come out and seeded the world with people. Now what I imagine is obviously this is not the only cradle facility, so all of the other cradle facilities around the world probably had the same problem. They ran out of nutrients, and maybe this all the servitors came to the same conclusion. We had to let our people out. And then that those are the people that basically founded a new civilization, and that is what we have now with the Nora and the Karja and you know all these other uh, Asuram, all these all these people that are out there, these tribes came from these people that were let out of the cradles so that kind of restarted human life and it makes sense why they're called braves for the Nora because the last thing this servitor said was you need to be brave I get that connection but something happened a signal was sent somewhere someone somehow some when some way some why a signal was sent Disrupted Gaia's subordinate functions spawned off into separate AIs. Hades, being the program that he was meant to be, became self-aware and basically took over and started destroying everything. Cut off the other AIs and basically said, you know, I'm going to destroy the world again. Gaia couldn't let this happen. So what was the goal? Well, let's reincarnate, in a way, a clone of Dr. Sobek, who will have the genetic identity to enter these facilities and take over command again. Hence us. We are that. Now, we were meant to get into All Mother Mountain a lot sooner, but that was interrupted because the registry files were corrupted. But now we have the command override so we can get into all that. Now, Gaia said that she was going to blow herself up which would also destroy Hades. But that never happened, did it? Because Hades is still around. So I think Gaia is still there. We just need to reboot her so she can take control again or take command again. Something like that. That's what I'm thinking. And the big question to me is, though, who sent that signal in the first place? Or how was that sent? And who, who, who interfered with that process? So, that'll be interesting to find out. And, uh, so there's still a lot of questions there, and... Yeah, well, I guess we have to go reboot Gaia. But... Kinda leads us to where we are now, and that's, uh, quite a good story. Quite a really, really good story, and I like where this is going. Very entertaining, very engaging. Very, very cool. 
So, yeah, I'm liking this. This is a real fun game, and the story is so engaging to me. Um, the battles, I mean, the, 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 the combat with the machines can be rather difficult, especially if you're on a harder difficulty level, so I don't envy you, but I, I don't want... I don't want that experience for myself. I don't want to be frustrated. I want to just have fun. So I want I want to get engaged. Like when I go into stuff like the All Mother Mountain, the Cradle there, and I'm exploring that. That's the fun part for me. Like that stuff, learning all of that, and then finding the old civilization, and then exploring the world, and building up my character, and you know, kind of doing that stuff is fun for me so that's what I enjoy doing so I just want to explore but I do have the difficulty raised one degree so it's not too easy for me but I can definitely feel the difference though so, fighting that thunder jaw and those death bringers it's it's a thing now it's a it's a challenge so anyway I hope you all are enjoying this playthrough and it sounds like if uh everything goes according to plan we'll be going to Gaia in the next video we'll see so thank you all for watching stay tuned for the next one